limitation. Could I have one more question, Mr. Chairman? Or? Oh, why, of course. Thank you. I'd like to ask uh, a former Congresswoman Holtzman. Um, obviously, we know the framers of the Constitution established impeachment as one of the checks on the president and the judiciary. Nonetheless, no president has ever been impeached and removed from office. Part of this is because a successful impeachment requires the support of members of the president's party, which in, has proved virtually unattainable. In the case of the one president who would have been removed had he not resigned, President Nixon, it took the smoking gun tape to push members of his party over the edge to the point where impeachment became a real possibility. As a member of the committee, during the impeachment of President Nixon, how would you approach impeachment in the highly charged partisan environment we have today so that uh, impeachment uh, could be a, a, a viable option? Thank you, Congressman Nadler. I think that's an important question because I think the reason that the impeachment process worked during the Nixon impeachment was because it was bipartisan and because the American people had confidence that when both parties were involved that even though they didn't understand every fact that the House was proceeding in a proper way. It's not correct to say that without the smoking gun tape, impeachment would not have happened. You have to remember that prior to the smoking gun tape, three articles of impeachment were voted with substantial sub Republican or bipartisan support, including an article on obstruction of justice, including an article on abuse of power, and including an article on um, the, the president's refusal to cooperate with, an impeachable, with the impeachment inquiry. When we started the impeachment process, it was not done by Congress. It was done because of the Saturday Night Massacre and the American people. That's what triggered the Congress to act. When we started, nobody knew what the headcount was going to be on the House Judiciary Committee. It was partisan. We had Republicans who stood their side and Democrats who stood their side. But nobody had been in that for, in this kind of proceeding for 100 years. And so people were feeling their way. How did it work? How did we bring Republicans and Democrats together? Well, partly it was, and I think the chair will remember this, the fact that Congressman Rodino understood that the process had to be completely fair. So the Democrats picked for the committee counsel for impeachment a Republican, and the Republicans picked a Republican. So that was one way of saying, look, we're not going to do this on a partisan way. That was a way of bringing people along. There was no poll that was taken. There was no head count that was taken. We were in totally uncharted waters. And what we tried to do was to do it right. And ultimately, the facts and the fairness of the process persuaded people on both sides of the aisle that this was the right thing to do. And it wasn't just Republicans. You had Southern Democrats who had more, if you will, pro-Nixon uh, constituents than some of the Republicans on the committee, and they had to come along. How did you bring people along? By a fair process, by assuring, and, and to the fair to the president too. The president's counsel said, well, I want to bring, have one witness, take five. There was so that there were never issues that got in the way. That's what helped to bring this process together. I'm not saying that there's enough time to do a full-blown impeachment process, but an impeachment inquiry itself handled fairly completely fairly with the full participation of the minority so that no one says this process is out to get somebody, but that it's a fair process to try to use the constitutional powers that we have. I think that in any atmosphere, if people are willing to work together and you're being fair and the evidence is there and you have constitutional scholars supporting it, I think it can work. Maybe I'm a cockeyed optimist. Nobody would have thought the impeachment would have worked in 1973 that that process would have worked. Remember, what we were looking at was the Andrew Johnson impeachment. That was what was staring us in our face. And, and uh, I think, and that didn't work because it was partisan, and the Clinton impeachment didn't work because it was partisan. But I think good people working in good faith together, as we did, can overcome those partisan hurdles and have to for the good of the country. 